SnowRunner mods on Nintendo Switch? Yes, we now have official confirmation. Here's what you need to know. Hello and welcome to A Tribe Called Cars. Just a quick video for those of you who play SnowRunner on Nintendo Switch. As you may have seen in a previous video, it appeared the developers were working on bringing mods to the Nintendo Switch. Now it has been officially confirmed. Speaking in a post on the Focus Home Forum, the publisher said, Today's update also marks the release of a new set of modding tools, allowing our talented community to create Nintendo Switch mods ahead of their release with the upcoming Season 7, Compete and Conquer. It continued, The principle remain the same as for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One mods. Once published or updated, the new Switch compatible mods will be reviewed and vetted by the development team at Sabre Interactive to receive their green light. When Season 7 releases, players will be able to subscribe to and download their favourite mods by signing in their mod.io account from the in-game menu. So there you have it. Whenever Phase 7 is released, those on Nintendo Switch should have some SnowRunner mods to play with and more will be added as modders take the time to make any necessary platform-specific adjustments. How well mods will work on Nintendo Switch remains to be seen, but at least we are getting the option. I made a video about installing mods, link in the description. The method should be the same, or at least similar. Mods, for those who are new to the game and or modding, are community-made trucks and maps that add fresh challenges to SnowRunner. Some mods are overpowered, some are beautifully balanced, and some are just downright ridiculous. Use whatever you enjoy and ignore the anti-mod brigade. The SnowRunner Nintendo Switch mod news comes as the new 16.1 update has gone live on all platforms. As you will know if you follow the channel, it is the Crocodile Pack, a standalone DLC that features the Step 3364 off-road truck. On the Epic Games, Microsoft and Steam stores, you can expect to pay £3.29 or $4-ish for the Crocodile Pack. So snap that up if you want some old-timer off-roading. Yes, it probably should be part of the Season 2 Pass, but let's not get snappy about it. Now, in case you are wondering about the recent age request issue that seems to be affecting PlayStation users trying to access mods in Update 16.1, the developer is aware of the issue, and so hopefully there will be a patch to fix the patch. Exactly when, I do not yet know. So there you have it, mods on Nintendo Switch when SnowRunner Phase 7 Compete and Conquer is released. No official release date just yet, though. Until next time, fellow truckers, subscribe and like. Take care. Bye.